Hey guys, it's the Try Hard Gamer here. I've gotten a lot of positive comments with regard to the music that I make for my YouTube content. I want to first of all thank you guys so much for the positive feedback and also to let you know that you can actually buy some of my music at Bandcamp.com. I'll leave a link in the description of my videos from now on, but you can also head to SanctusAudio.Bandcamp.com slash releases. Every sale I make will help support me so I can give you guys great content. You guys have inspired me so much that I'm already working on a new album. Anyway, thanks for the support, and I hope you enjoy the video. What is up all you try hard gamers? It has been a while for sure. Been a while for personal reasons. Uh, I missed uh, hanging out with you guys, responding to your comments. Uh, but let me tell you, the outpouring of support that I've gotten for this channel has just been amazing. It's made a really, really crappy situation uh, at home and in life much, much better. Um, so I've got another build for you, and let me tell you guys, this is my new favorite ship. Even above the Corvette. Yes, above the Corvette. Now some of you may be like, Mr. Tryhard Gamer, you're out of your mind, Mr. Tryhard Gamer, you noob. You noob, you non-min-maxing noob. Why would you pick the Vulture over the Corvette? Well, this thing is capable of crazy maneuvers uh, for the firepower that it has. Uh, so let's get into the build, and, and I'll explain a little bit of what I'm talking about. Oh, see, okay, so for uh, core internals, we've got reactive surface composite, and I've got it modified for heavy duty. I uh, only got it up to three, uh, but this thing is, is tanky for it being a small ship. Uh, you see in, in my integrity there, I'm at 1,891.5, which is pretty damn good uh, for a small ship. You won't get that, that out of an eagle. Um, trust me, this ship is much better than the eagle The eagle is. I tried for so long to try and make an, an eagle build work, the Imperial Eagle specifically, uh, for missions and has res, and I just gave up. It took way too long to, to kill ships. This ship, however, does it all, my friends. Okay, so we've got the react, reactive surface composite. And then we have the 4A power plant. This is going, you're going to absolutely need to overcharge this for what we're putting on this ship. 5A thrusters, dirty, dirty drive tuning. 4A frame shift drive, mod this for range. Uh, you could mod it if you wanted to um, uh, lessen the power draw down here because we're, we're just about at the tip top there. You could go with something else. It's not necessary to mod that out. Uh, for for range 3 life support 5a power distributor I've not gotten a chance to engineer this but uh, I would go charge enhance for the weapons that we're using I use charge enhance all the time anyway um, be just specifically because I, I think it's better personally I like being able to boost more often I like being able to shoot more often when I'm not using only kinetic weapons so that's something to keep in mind uh, okay, 5C bi-weave shield generator. This is going to be modified to reinforce shields. I've got it up to four. Um, and the rest are whole reinforcement packages. Now, when I originally built this, this ship, um, I was going to do it shieldless. Uh, and I've seen some builds out there of people doing small ships like this, especially the, the Vulture shieldless. Uh, it was just too much of a pain for me. You got to worry about repairing your modules and all that. So, uh, but I did take the same principle uh, and applied it here. So rather than, um, I mean, we don't have the power anyway to fit, to to outfit it with a a crap ton of of the the shield uh, reinforcements, the guardian shield reinforcements. So I went whole reinforcements, and these are all heavy duty. Now, um, one thing to keep in mind also. You could, instead of, of modding them with heavy duty, you could go with like kinetic resistances or uh, even um, thermal resistances. It's up to you. As you're going to see, uh, this thing is more than capable of handling itself without having those resistance resistances. So you may not have to worry about it. Uh, so yeah, just whole reinforcement packages all down the line. 
Okay, so we've got the C kill warrant scanner. Only reason it's not A is because we are running extremely low on power, and it would have topped us out uh, much more than I than I would have wanted. And then I've got three shield boosters, all heavy duty on this bad boy. Now on to the weapons. Two large plasma accelerators. These things kick ass, and I've modded them out for. Short range. I've not put an experimental on them uh, yet, but uh, as you as you will see in the video coming up, in the combat coming up, this thing kicks ass, absolutely destroys. Uh, so if if you're good at hit scan, I would go with this. The good thing about this build is that you could slap pretty much anything on it as far as weapons are concerned. So if you wanted to put like two two um, large multi cannons on there, one corrosive, one you know, thermal damage, you could do that. This thing is, is versatile, versatile as hell, so uh, keep that in mind. Um, so look, again, thank you guys so much for the support. The combat is getting getting ready to come up, and I would love to see your comments. I always love to see your comments. And uh, by the way, I really enjoyed the comments uh, that, you know, the comments from the, the hate mail video that I did. There are many more, many more episodes coming up. I got so much hate mail still. So you guys have a great uh, afternoon or evening whenever you're watching this, and uh, go ahead and uh, enjoy yourselves.